Michigan 31, Washington 10. Is it fire Jimmy Lake time? Should we, should we I mean, fight like six games into his tenure? Should we be uh, thinking about this? You, you brought it up last week. I know you did. So I think that you. I, 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 I all I know, Gary, is I've just been told he's an amazing coach. That's all I know. I, I've been told. I've been told he's a great coach. I have no idea who, what information people you have to tell me that. I don't, I don't know where you're pulling that from. I don't know where, because uh, you're not the only one. It's out there in the ethos. Jimmy Lake is a great coach. Jimmy well, no, is I, great I, hold, on, coach. hold on, hold on, He is a great defensive coordinator. He was Are you under, sure? Yes, because he the defenses were great under Chris Peterson, but I wonder if that is the element that's missing. Like Maybe Jimmy Lake is not made out to be a head coach. He hired John Donovan. This is what we've talked about for the, the last, dating back to last year. John Donovan is, is the most predictable offense coordinator in the country. And he does the same crap over and over and over and over again. And so it's and, the OC's fault. And no, it's not just the OC's fault because the head coach is the one that hired him. Like he was terrible at Penn State, and then James Franklin fired him. So, and and of course, Penn State got significantly better after the first two years of James Franklin's tenure there. Like, I I wonder if this would change anything if he was willing to because this is a guy that kind of spits in the face of analytics, right? Jimmy Lake is. He's one that wears the hat, you know, run the damn ball to practice. Which, which like, should endear him to me. You know this, right? Yes, we love like, running the like ball. This, this is supposed to be my guy because I want to give the middle finger to all the analytic guys. Yes. But I don't. I, you take Coach Kelly at Presbyterian, and I worship that man. I love that man. You because, take this guy. Because you understand and, how to win ball games. You understand what it takes to win. You you have yeah. to be able to put them together. I like, don't – my hatred, for, my dislike for Jimmy Lake is I'm completely agnostic on the man. I don't know enough – I don't have enough information to have an opinion, but I've had forced down my throat for the last year and a half He's great. And I just want to know where these people get their information from. What are you seeing that tells you he's great? What was right, I tell just me, want to know that. Tell me this. What was the most surprising stat from this game for you? The fact that Michigan only had to throw for 44 yards in it because they ran 56 <sighs> times for 343 yards. That's 6.1 a clip and four touchdowns. Or was it the fact that Washington, who is known for their running game, I was just about to say 32 times for 50 yards. That's one. I think, I think Michigan, Michigan was like Oregon. Michigan was missing their best defensive player, the best defensive player on the team. And, and it didn't matter. It just didn't, they could have been, you could have cut the knees off of the top five defensive players for Michigan. Washington wasn't scoring. Yeah. Right. They were my fat ass in high school. It, th- nothing mattered. I'm, I wasn't going to score. It's just not going to happen. That just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Washington's They're defense, bad. by the way. They're bad. No, this team no might be the break. worst. This team might be the worst in the Pac-12. Whew. Arizona might be able to score on this team and beat them. You score 14, you beat the hell out of them. I don't know. Arizona got it got it handed to them pretty good by San Diego State last night. San Diego State's a good football <laughs> I team. Know they are. I've told I you that before. I know. San Diego I know. State's a good football team. Hey, San Diego State's better than Washington. You bet your ass San Diego State right now is better than Washington. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.